I had one of my students take a lesson from me a few weeks back and sent me an email with a follow-up question about what his head is supposed to do during the golf swing. So he said he's been doing some practice swings, it sounds like in front of a mirror, and he's noticed that his head's moving side to side and knew that from the lesson that we'd done that we don't want that to happen. So his question was, my head's starting to shift and move throughout the swing, is that supposed to happen? And if not, then is there a good drill or something that I can do to keep it from happening? So the first thing that I'm gonna tell somebody to do to keep their head from moving is to get balanced in your setup but actually shave a little bit of weight towards your front foot. So for me, right-handed golfer, that's my left side. So put about 55, maybe 60% of the weight there. And then as you take the club back, we wanna to try to keep the, keep the weight on that front side. If you find that you're shifting over to your right side, your head's gonna move with it. Or vice versa, if your head's moving, then that's gonna pull your weight all the way over to your right side. The trouble there is it's gonna make you bottom out behind the ball and hit a lot of fat shots or then come up and hit a lot of top or even thin shots. So for good contact, one of the most principal things we can do is keep that head steady, keep it right over the ball. In this case, we're just gonna say, let's keep the weight a little bit on the left side or your front side is what I should say. So another good drill for that, <clears throat> good late afternoon sun that we have here. So I'm gonna turn around. So, and facing right in front of me, there's my shadow. I'm gonna actually move over. So there's a divot on the ground right there, which my shadow is covering. So on the backswing, if you take it, if your head's shifting over, that divot you're gonna see is that head moves over from the divot. So you wanna to learn to take a backswing and see if you can feel that head stay as steady as you can. Now it's not gonna be perfect, but as steady as you can and keep it right over whatever mark you're using. You could even go put a little tee in the ground or a golf ball out there and use that to look at. But I just call that the shadow drill, just so you can really make sure your head's staying steady. That's gonna help you hit good contact, get good, you know, good contact and improve your distance. Then you can start working on the distance, the direction, everything else from there. So Lee, thanks for sending in the question. Um, hope that helps with a good understanding for it. I'm gonna do a lot more of these. So anybody else out there, if you have questions, feel free to send it to me. Tyler at puregolfaz.com is my email. Thanks, look forward to it.